I decided to become a cartoonist because I was not at ease to talk. Too bad, tonight is not a TEDx draw. So I have to talk about cartooning and becoming a cartoonist. I am what is called an editorial cartoonist. I draw about boring things like politics, economics, social issues, especially in Mauritius, where my drawings are published in local newspapers and magazines. And I also use social media to express myself. I run a Facebook page. But let me tell you first about what it is and what it takes me to do what I do. Because when I say I'm an editorial cartoonist, I draw in the newspapers, some people say, really, you make these funny little pictures in the newspapers? <laughs> funny, eh? And then I hear reproachful comments saying, that's not funny. How did you dare to make fun of such serious situations? The situation is, it is not funny. But people, I do not draw just for the sake of being funny or to make fun of other people. My aim is to address concerns which affect public life, police brutality in this case. And I use satire as a device to have an impact. Then I hear other people also say, uh, Salut l'artiste! Okay, artist, cool. <laughs> then some ask, have you ever been to school for this? I suppose they mean art school. So the answer is no. I haven't heard of any school teaching to become an editorial cartoonist yet. But yes, I have been to school. I have been to primary, to college, to university. I trained to become a journalist. And all along these years, I kept on drawing. In fact, I love drawings. I remember back in college, we were not allowed to do drawings, except the drawings have to do with the lesson. But I viciously enjoyed to caricature all my teachers. Here is my chemistry teacher. In order for me to draw the guy, I had to stick his face in something which has to do with the lesson, like chemical formulas and chemical reactions. <laughs> With their results, I barely exaggerate. So, my school book was more or less like this. That's when I realized that I would become a comic book artist or making cartoons to explain things. I learned my lesson in all ways. I was gifted with insolence, which usually is seen as a bad trait, but in my case proved to be a strength later on for what I was to become. Because cartoons are meant to be disrespectful. So that much was my education as far as art is concerned. And I have to confess, editorial cartoons, such as we see in the newspapers, are not the most aesthetical works in the world of drawings. Technically, silly and childish pictures. But it has its own rules. For example, my production is, depending on the news, which are my main source of inspiration, and it is constrained by time with a certain sense of emergency. And besides, I have to strip the pictures of any details, of colors, as artistically good as they may be, which may distract the readers from getting to the point. So, to the point. What is the point of making cartoons? Well, I'm a cartoonist, professional, so I need to do cartoons to make my living. But it's not just a job. It means more to me. It is an art, the art of saying without saying. Its cartoon is, the subtlety of cartoon is to conceal and yet to reveal at the same time so that you can circumvent some hassle 
which cannot be tackled frontally. For example, it's like a Trojan horse. Let's take communalism in Mauritius. Very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to tackle this. We have here volcanoes that we believe were long dead. But then you put on a little pressure and you get the mix of dangerous things ready to explode. Um, in fact, it looks like everything here are seen through the lenses of communalism. And unfortunately, these lenses deform. They obstruct our vision. And this is an issue that we have to, we cannot ignore. But however, we have to be very careful to talk about these things. The goal is to expose without gratuitous, uh, heartful remarks. So, uh, you have to be very careful. Um, the trick is how to be provocative enough and not overdoing it so that the cartoon be strong. Uh, back to my chemistry class. Um, a cartoonist is like a catalyst. A catalyst is an element uh, which makes the chemical reactions happen more quickly without itself being changed. So, to me, cartooning is to act. It's a citizen act. It's about taking a stand amid adversities. Um, no wonder people often resort to cartoons to support their cause, they fight. Uh, I have a Facebook page called Ov, where I speak about various topics. And in 2021, during this crisis of COVID and the panic, I posted that one. And uh, it was widely shared across the world, but it received much comments from Madagascar. Uh, it was particularly appreciated over there. Uh, although I do not stay in Madagascar, uh, I make a lot of cartoons about Madagascar, and uh, it is quite appreciated by the public in general, civil, civil society, um, the VIPs, institutions, and so forth. So, the civil society used that cartoon to denounce the lack of transparency in the use of COVID funds, as well as mismanagement of um, existing resources. And um, through the cartoons and the readers' comments, um, the Facebook page have become a platform which triggers a lot of exchanges. Uh, some do comment that the cartoons speak loud about what they wish, but do not dare to say, or about what they are tired of saying over and over again, like injustice, or like bad governance. But cartoon is a strong, yet a nonviolent protest tool, which uh, help to channel at least some anger or frustration. Uh, I realize that thirst for cartoons when I hear people asking me, please, can you draw about this or about that? And uh, like them, I do hope that the cartoons can give a little nudge to help things move a little bit to the right directions, or at least to bring some solace. And my fear is that the cartoons are taken for what I didn't mean them to be. And then you get the police and all extremists of all sorts bang at your door. <laughs> Sometimes when I draw, I have the feeling that there are eyes lurking from behind me. <laughs> but enough drama. Cartoons can be also very happy. It's an excellent way to raise awareness, to share, communicate love, joy, to promote, uh, to celebrate, to promote peace and unity. So, a cartoonist is not a humorist, not, not an entertainer, not an artist, not an editorialist, or maybe just a little bit of all that. I would say a species of its own kind. 
Now, let me seize the opportunity to clarify something. Uh, the name POV, the signature, has nothing to do with the acronym of point of view. In fact, that was the baby nickname I was given when I was a baby, and I grew up with it. Now it's too late to get rid of it. <laughs> so, I am POV. I'm an editorial artist. I express myself through my craft, taking light things seriously and making serious things appear to be light. Thank you. <laughs>